when I was younger, I used to listen to Outkast. And I still do listen to Outkast. I'm an avid Outkast head. And back in the day, I listened to Outkast basically because I liked the music. You know what I'm saying? I liked the way it sounded. Um, not knowing anything that they was talking about. I mean, it sounded good, but all of those things planted a, a seed in my head. You know what I'm saying? For me to grow with the music and start to understand the music. And that's the most dangerous thing. You have a young person or a group of young people who are listening to something that's actually progressive. You know what I'm saying? They start growing with that. They're scared of the listener hearing the message. They're not scared of the messenger. You know what I'm saying? Because ain't no entertainer going to change the world. That's true. It's impossible. You feel know I me? Mean? All they do is entertain. However, the people who listen, you know what I'm saying? The people who catch these ideas, they're scared of that more than anything else. So it makes it, by not pushing it, it makes that message harder to obtain. So so what, what, what artists you think right now, like, get that message out there? I mean, I think it's a lot of niggas. Kanye. Niggas be talking about, uh, you know, he's blasphemous or he's in the Illuminati and he's this, that, and the third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you knew your history, you feel me? Because that's yeah. all he's doing is putting our history out there. There's another thing about, you know, the industry, everybody's talking about all these rappers in the Illuminati. I'm like, yo, two million fish just popped up dead. And I guarantee you it ain't have shit to do with Jay-Z doing like this. When Jay-Z did like this, two million fish didn't pop up dead because of that. You know what I'm saying? Them damn, what, 4,000 birds? Yeah. They ain't drop out of the sky because Jay-Z put the, the diamond up. We finna go yeah. to fucking war. You know what I'm saying? And don't, none of these niggas got anything to do with it. Yeah, you're However, right. what they do do is distract most of the dumb motherfuckers and be like, oh, he's a Satan, he's a devil worshiper. He's like, yo, they have they they have very little responsibility to do, you know what I'm saying, with, 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 with the shit that's going on right now, with the big heap of shit that we find ourselves in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They ain't the reason that motherfuckers can't get jobs. As far as um other artists, you know, you got Lupe, uh, Yay, that nigga Nosa. Nah. <laughs> Nosa be putting it out there. <laughs> but um I mean I, I think a lot of people do it in a lot of different ways. I remember um you know, if I rule the world, expose them all to the lies history so far, but I'm as wise as the old owl. And niggas don't get it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Niggas, there's a lot of niggas to this day don't get that line. A lot of these folks, they say like little clever lines, and you can just take it for, oh, that was just a line. Or you can, all right, why exactly did they put these words together just like this to say this, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's a lot of niggas is doing that in a destructive manner as well, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's more niggas doing it on more so of a destructive level than it is doing on a positive level. I was talking to a uh, genius about it. And I was like, with well, a real lyricist that's really on that type of shit, it's kind of like, and I say this at the risk of being called blasphemous, but it's kind of like the Bible. You know what I'm saying? You know, the Bible is written two ways. You know what I'm saying? You can read the Bible and it'd be on some face value type stuff. You know what I'm saying? And you read the Bible and you believe everything that's written down is complete and absolute truth. Or you can dig deeper and get the actual meaning of it. Like what Pac said, you know what I'm saying? Stop bobbing your head to the fucking beats and listen to what these niggas are saying. And they got hype on the shelf. Is you buying it? You ask me, it ain't worth it. I know a couple niggas who copped and told me they weren't too pleased with they purchase. Pissed off, they couldn't even return it. No receipts given, no warranty on the dream that was sold for the fee.